Good morning, folks. Somber day around here. We'll get to that in a moment. First, the sun is still calm. The most significant heliocentric geometry we've seen in a while, however, is just three days away, so we'll see if anything changes. Looking to spaceweathernews.com, we find solar flaring indeed remaining pitifully low. This won't change much today because the sunspots are small, spread, and there's little interaction even in the trailing beta spot. Furthermore, those plasma filaments have held on and are now departing, maybe another day of geoeffective potential. The calm continues as we come to the solar wind and we see yellow speed dropping out. The calm sets in on all fronts, including Earth's magnetic field. This will change tomorrow or Monday when a coronal hole stream from this dark patch hits Earth. But until then, it is an Earth-facing quake maker that started with Barbados and now has lit up the Solomon Islands. Initial magnitude was 7.5, tsunami risks were put out and we actually hopped on live last night. We determined pretty quickly that the tsunami threat was nil and eventually the earthquake was downgraded, but if you want to see how to do a tsunami analysis, it was a pretty good how-to. Check it out. Let's also look here. Mercury entering the Soho frame. It will conjoin in a matter of days. There is only one thing that we can possibly feature today, and that is the volume of work we have with Michael Steinbacher. As many of you know, his health has been in decline, and according to his close friends at his bedside yesterday, the hours are short and he was already unresponsive. If he is still here as you hear this, it is only to gather up the last of our best wishes before going home. He lived for us, the community at large. He truly did. I don't meet many other people as dedicated to this work as I am, but he's one of them. In our Valuable Info playlist, which is linked for you right below this video, you can find two videos we did with Michael, and on those you will find all the links to his YouTube channel, website, etc. Hearts are heavy today. Some brighter news to send you off with. The death toll from Nanka is very low and the worst risks appear to have passed. System out to sea still churning. We've got Dolores well offshore still in the East Pacific. And in general, the top alert zones in our top viewer locations are either small or weaker this evening. Midwest U.S. has the worst of it. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Today is Fly on the Wall 2. We'll be discussing Michael's work, what took out the solar impulse plane, and if we have time, the wonders of Pluto. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.